Welcome back to another installment of the Blackwell Bundle. This is game three, the Blackwell Convergence. The past two games, look, the let's play um, just go check them out. Short story is, we are a medium, we've got Joey with us who is a ghost. We help other ghosts pass into the afterlife. First game was about Rosa, who is right here on the screen. Second game was about her aunt, who is dead now, but wasn't at the time of the story, because that would be, you know, he has not say crazy, but that would make a little bit of sense concerning the game. But it was set like 30 years in the past, and now we're on to game three. I have not played this one, unlike the other games, so we'll see how this goes. And it's raining. And we're in New York City. Okay. There is voice acting in this, so I will try not to talk over them the entire time. Hello? Anybody there? You're really expecting an answer. I was just checking. Well, you checked. Now open the door and let's see what's in there. Tutorial. Uh, you know, let's, in case they change stuff on us. Set door, try to get her in. Click the left mouse button, click a few things, get ready, click the okay. I can't see any. So we have cover furniture, we have a desk, window, newspaper. Okay. Joey, the door is locked. Yeah, I can mm -mm -mm. see that. Looks like it's up to me. Yeah, Joey, get your button here. Joey's a ghost, of course. We can switch kids. See, this is what threw me last game. Because in the first game, you can't switch characters. And in this one, you can. Yes, yes. Uh, so I'm just basically doing the tutorial in case there are, um, you know, more things that are new to this particular game that were not in the other one. All right, Joey, open the door. Bloop. Hmm, charming. Well, what do you see? Nothing. Yet. I'll see if there's a way to open that door. Even though you can't touch anything. You can look at objects, right click, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of dust covering those. Looks like it glints. Is there like a mirror on the ground? What was that? Shiny object. Looks like a paper clip. Okay, this is new. Hey, Dollface, I got a present for you. Joey, a paper clip just blew past uh -huh. my shoe. It's all yours, darling. What do I do with this? Try opening the door with it. Does that actually work? Sure, why not? It's a video game. So the center is open, we can see look paper clip, blah 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 Alright. Paper clip door. Well it's a game, you can do this. I have no idea how to do this. But it's a game, so you know. It's an old door, it shouldn't be any trouble. It keeps slipping. This is work. Oh ye of little faith. Mm-hmm. No ghosts. Not yet. You think something's coming? Not sure. I feel something. Might as well take a look around first, just in case. Is it a demon? Like before? You're on your own for now. Well. Okay. There's nothing on there but duck. Relatives of yours? Ha <laughs> ha, ghost. You know. I don't get it. Never mind. That's fun. funny? Hmm, I don't know. That might not be funny. All I could All right, was obituary. A clipping. Looks like an obituary. Alan Riken of the Riken Publishing and Supply was found dead yesterday afternoon. Witnesses saw Riken fall from a great height, landing on the sidewalk outside of his office building at 354 West 80th Street. Officers at the scene ruled the death a suicide, which I bet it wasn't, because that would be boring for this game. Though in the first game, it was suicide, so we found an obituary for Alan. We've made a suicide, but it's found, blah, 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 okay. So that probably puts a note up in here. This is our notebook. And it's obituary. And if you click it, if there's more than one item, you can click multiple items together and, like, come to, like, conclusions about them and things. Looks like desk... I can't move the desk. Come it's on, too girl. heavy. 
Looks like desk drawers. Or get me. out. Anything else we can click on? Window. Is this the one he jumped out of? I'm not opening the window. It's pouring outside. Yeah, shit. Let's look out the window. The view from here is incredible. Whoever owned this place must have done very can well. Can we see the view? Hmm? Hmm? Can we? How this sheet? Can you pull it down? I don't know why. Oh, you can. Why do we do that? I wonder how much a view like this costs. Probably worth millions. Even if it is haunted. So why are we pulling the sheets down? Oh. Ghostly hand. So what's it important us first? So the ghost is on the ledge. Hey ghost, how are you? Oh Joey. Joey dear. Yeah. I think I found it. Well will you look at that? What's he doing out there? There's only one way to find out. I am not climbing out onto the window ledge. What are you kidding? Leave the dangerous stuff to the dead guy. That is the idea. I think... Alright, Joey, get out of here. Alright, let's see what this spook has to Good say. Good plan. Yeah, I know the drill. I'll wait here. He was probably telling the player. Come on now. So he looks like a businessman who probably jumped off a building. He's a balding middle That's what I said. Guy. He looks kind of scared. He's scared of him. He's a ghost. He's already dead. He ain't gonna die. It's okay. Hello. Stay back. I mean it. I'll do it. Dude, you already did. All right, pal. Take a deep breath and relax. Relax? Yeah, relax. relax? Calm down. Relax? If I could relax, you'd think I'd be out here? Rain's kind of soothing. Why don't you tell me about it? Don't come any closer. I swear, I'll jump. Jump? You're here to kill yourself? Maybe. I don't know. I can't think of anything Dude. else to do. Dude. Don't you like, talk about the weather. Hey, let's get out of this rain. What rain? This uh, rain. This rain? Take a look around. It's pouring cats and dogs out here. I don't feel any rain. That's because... Ah, forget it. Because you're stupid. Are you... Alan Riken. Hey, are you Alan Riken? It's been a while, you might not remember. No, I don't remember at all. Although, I've had a lot on my like mind. Like being dead? Yeah, that's why I'm here. I thought you could use someone to talk to. Did my wife put you up to this? Wife? No, no, just here for an old friend. Okay. I'm not sure who you are, but you seem to know me. What do you want to talk about? Alan Riken. Listen, Alan. Concentrate and take a look around. Doesn't anything seem strange? Out of place? Your bad skin? Killer? No. You don't remember falling? Falling? No! Of course not! I came out here and. Stayed. Ever. I haven't jumped yet. Right, right. Never mind. So, ghosts are stupid. That's what we're learning. Find the civil line. Talk about the view. Talk about the view. Hmm? Nice view, huh? Is it? Yeah. I guess well, no. it is. Makes you feel like you're king of the world. I used to feel that. Then what happened? Now, I'm not sure. What happened, Alan? Surely things can't be all that bad. Oh, surely they can. Do you know what it's like to lose everything? To have everything you loved and struggled for just vanish? I know something about that, yeah. Then you know what I'm going through. Switch, but what caused it? So what yeah, happened, Alan. Alan? What brought you to this? A fire destroyed my entire stock. The resulting lawsuits bankrupted me. That's no reason to kill yourself. You don't understand. I spent my life building Your entire stock this of business. When it happened, I lost everything. Everyone deserted me. People I thought were People friends. are like that. Even oh, Sandra. who's Sandra? Sandra. My Oh. Oh, let us talk about... Hmm. Hmm. All these sound like bad choices. Let's talk about business. This is where he's a first. What? I don't know. I don't either of those. Look at the wife then. Where is your wife? I gathered that. She won't even talk to me. I just get phone calls. That's because you're dead. Lawyer. I thought she only lawyers can talk to the dead. That's what you're supposed to do. So like right? necromancers or something. Pretend his wife's inside. Search you. Ooh, dang! All oh, this sucks. So lie to him, or know what she got. The world's full of pretty broads, Alan. You shouldn't get all. That's one way to say it, I guess. Come on. 
look at me. I'm pushing 50, overweight, and not to mention broke. What woman would want me? And you're dead. So... so no, I don't like any of these options. Let's talk about... Bit. So, one date. That's gotta be funny, right? Hey, you like redheads? Huh? It's a simple question. Do of course you, you do, like man. Redheads? Sure, I guess. You guess. Great, I've got a girl who's perfect for you. What? You do? Sure, she's inside. Wanna meet her? Is this a trick? Of course oh, yeah. not. And that winning okay. smile. She is a redhead. There she is. Go on, introduce yourself. She's kind of young for me. Well, she's into she? that. Don't let that stop you. What are you doing? Shh. Go on, Tiger. She's waiting. I love his smile. So, you've been asking about me. Oh, um, oh. sure. Really? Why? You are not a good well, people person. Uh. He's cute. Like, wow, you can go like dark on these, can't you? I don't remember the first game being quite so, you know. He's an ugly loser who will die alone. He already did die alone, so I mean, I guess that's true. But you just also your money when you're a loser. And I can't tell if he's ugly, he's pixelated. He might just need to go take a shower and get some sun. You are a nice... You're a nice guy. You seem like a nice Such a guy. generic word. A nice guy. Sure. Let me tell you something, lady. Women don't like nice guys. What's your angle? You're not interested in me. Did you? Wait. I'm wasting my time. Women don't like nice guys. I know you're a woman, but you are lying, apparently. wait. She was trying to be nice. Did you just try to set me up? Just call me Matt. Rather not. I'm not seducing a ghost. Why not? You don't have to go all the way. N-O spells no. Alright, so let's... Try that again. A spook on a now I've a spook yeah. now. I'm gonna take another Okay. I'll okay, wait here. get out there. Let's do this thing. How about hey, business? Alan. Oh you Right? Again. How about business? Business? Business partner. Very businessman. That's This is probably true. Um Are any of these gonna work? Like no this that's not true. That's all these seem awful. Let's do this one. Hey, there's some venture capitalist inside. Wants to talk to you about starting another business? Really? It's that same Someone redhead from five minutes ago. That's what she said. Why don't you come inside and talk to her? Well, okay. He's defeatist. He's not getting anything. There's your investor. She's heard about your old business and wants to join forces. Is that right? Yeah, what do you do? This isn't some kind of gag? Of course not. She's loaded. Go on, talk to the lady. So, what's the story? You really want to invest in a bankrupt publishing supply publishing company? Publishing supply company. Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Why? I see potential well, in... Uh, um... Forget things about him, he's smart bitch, but he's a total failure. If I say you're a total failure, does that... Like, I want to buy you because you're cheap? Does that... Ah, oh, man, I'm too... I don't... I've heard good things about you. Oh, really? From who? People. Oh, people in the biz. The biz. Yes, you know, word gets around. Nobody would say good things about me. You are kind of a jerk face. I think you're full of it. Thanks for trying, but this isn't going to work. Just jump. Hey, wait. She was trying to be nice. Okay. Way to impress him with your business know-how. Way to put me on the spot. That's some crap. Let's tell him to jump. I'm gonna take and tell him to jump. Okay. One more I'll try. Right here. You should jump. I don't hey, like it anymore. Alan. Oh, you. Again. You need some like I don't know. Something. So your wife left you, huh? Yeah. Figures. What? Look at yourself. Everyone knows that if a ship is Ouch. sinking, you abandon it. I can't blame her for leaving. Anybody would. That's. That's. <sighs> Completely mm -hmm. true. Let's talk about her. Oh, what? So you ran your business into the ground? Well, yeah, I guess. 
And I thought you were a businessman. Mm -hmm. I am a businessman. Get back out there. Not anymore, you're not. No, I'm not. You're just a little man with a big office and a view he doesn't deserve. And you're way too old and tired to start over. Yeah. What's the point? The point is you're already dead. These are awful. Ah. Man, this is cruel, even for me. One more blow to his ego and he's bound to go over the edge. Do I really want to save him this way? So I guess that was a warning? Hey, Alan, I'm gonna take off. Don't, uh, go anywhere. Alright. Was that our warning not to... leave Alan? Man, this is going to be awkward. Why's that? The guy's threatening to jump. Jump? Yeah. Well, how can he... Yeah, it's an odd one. Let's, Let's do that. A second. Yeah, Joey? I need to talk about Alan. It's a long way down from here. If you want to jelly up the pavement, this is a good place to make sure it's done right. That's kind of tasteless. Yep. Just saying. Joey's kind of tasteless. Can we just chat? Hey, why don't you try snooping around? You think there's a clue here? There's got to be something. Okay. Well, let's get back to it. Now, does yeah. she have other notes, or is that just... Oh, let me switch to her. Which way? Where I read that. No other notes. We've got newspaper. Let's read that. All right. March 15, 2007. Most of the cloudy storms. Campaign jinx. Jeremy Sams. City Commissioner hopeful Alex Silva announced a home base change yesterday after renovations of the new campaign headquarters at 354 West 80th Street failed to go as planned. That's where we are, isn't it? This decision comes after months of difficulty. Three construction contractors hired to do the renovations have all left the job without warning. None of the contractors could be reached for comment, but Silva's critics have joked that the campaign is jinxed before it's even begun. So this must be why we're actually here. We read that and was like, you know what, hey, Jinx, Ghost, video game, that's the thing. I don't see any other stuff around here. Relatives Where of did that? Mother, Sorry. You know, I don't... Never mind. There's nothing on there. There's nothing so on... all those are dust. I can't, can't move the, the desk. desk. Looks like an old... Look some more of the doors. There's nothing else in the desk. How about on this side? No. There's nothing else in the desk. How about, um, I got window, I got window, I got Joey. Do we get the Let's same conversation Joey. items if we do it this way? Uh-huh. A man jumped out of a window right. in this building. Suicide? It seems so. I wonder if it was one of these windows. We already got past this part. Come on, game. Don't play like this. So what no should idea. we do now? There's our spook. Why don't we, we did talk that? to him? I'm glad my notebook is okay. I thought it would get soaked in the rain, but it's fine. Well, thank heaven for that. We'd be goners for sure without that notebook. Be quiet. Seriously, Joey, shut up. That's all for so now. So can we not... Sure. Can we leave and then go find something else about... Hey, think we're done? Not no. Not yet, dear. Let's poke around some more. So we can't... Do, hmm. Can we... We can't get the new paper. No, we can't. Oh, we can't take that. I don't Why not? think he'd want that. That's not what I meant. Wrong button. Ignore that. That did not happen. Can I take the mission and give it to Joey? I don't think he'd Why want not? that. Why not? He should. It's important. All right. So let's get rid of. Yes. It's a paper. Yes, yes, yes. I wasn't trying to. There you go. So let's go back to Joey, I guess. I mean, we don't have any... He can't actually look at things, right? I can't open the drawers. I yes, can't yes, yes. Them. Furniture, I don't... I feel like I'm missing something important. Like, I should be doing something besides telling this guy to jump to his death. But maybe not. Maybe that's what we're going to do. I'm going to kill this guy again. I'm gonna take another crack at him. Okay, I'll wait here. There's probably a right way to do this that I'm not getting. Snazzy as it would be, I Why can't not? just besides. I've got a job to do. Why can't you just put off to the sunset? Alright, let's can we look over there? Man, what a view! I can even see the Hudson River from here. 
there's nothing out here we can look at, right? Like, I don't know what it would be. Cozy and dry inside. Lucky Whatever, you're not getting wet. Shut up. All right, let's talk hey, to. Hey, Alan. Oh. Yeah, jump. You again. That's all. That's all we got, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's j tell him jump. You know, you're right. I can't think of any woman who would be attracted to you. You really think so? Sorry, pal. That's the way I see it. I always thought that, but to hear someone else say it, it hits very close to home. I don't know what to do anymore. Oh, I think you do. I do? You're looking right wow. down at it. You're right. You're so right. It's over. It's... This is... What? Huh? Oh... I've been here before. I'm sorry. But it was an accident. I wasn't really going to jump. I was going to go that back sucks. in. It's too late now. I slipped and fell. I didn't want to jump. I remember. I remember falling. Wishing I had a second chance. But maybe, maybe it's for the best. I didn't have much to live for anyway. I'm sorry, pal. So what now? I haunt this no. night forever? No, I'm here to help you move on. Just come inside with me. Talk to that cute redhead again. With the business. Are you ready, Alan? I guess. Let's get this over with. Just take a hold of this. Alright. Okay. Do it. Seriously, sit down first. Hmm. I can't help but think we could have handled that. I know, right? Like, I think I screwed that up badly. I think I screwed that up badly. There's a better way to do that, I'm sure, but... Look, y'all didn't screw that right. I tried to be nice, and this guy just wasn't taking it at all. And there we go, the intro scene of Blackwell Convergence. Well, here's some credits. Maybe the game's over. Ten minute game. That's all you get. Time to go home. See you next time. It's got a good vibe to it. Because it's the rainy day, and this fedora and this suit on a dead man. Very old school. She got a soundtrack of this. Part in Spotify. It's too good at working music. By Thomas Rain. Look him up. Thomas, do you have a CD? Game Engine by Chris Jones.